greet you all. I am Augustino Osoro Onkware, the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Academic and Student Affairs, Rongo University. To all our new students, welcome to Rongo University. I wish first and foremost to congratulate you for having passed well in your examinations and in succeeding to join the university, specifically Rongo University. The Division of Academic and Student Affairs is in charge of student welfare. It's also in charge of academic activities. The student welfare range from where the students stay, where the students eat, health matters, and so on and so forth. The academic matters include how students attend classes, how they do their practical sessions, how they do their attachments, and the various examinations that are associated with learning. Now, uh, in addition to the learning health matters and where the students stay, we also provide recreational facilities and we encourage all students to participate in recreational facilities and participate to the fullest to exploit and improve their talent in co-curricular activities. We also have a code of conduct for the students and it's more that the students read, understand and live by the code of conduct because we live in a community that we want to show the benefit of having a university around them. We don't want students to be part of a problem to the community, but to be a blessing to the community. Occasionally, we may request students to participate in community affairs, outreach, and support for various activities that we extend to the community. And for this, we give emphasis because it enables the students to grow and develop into useful citizens because this way they understand how the community lives. In addition to all this, of course, most of the students are young and for the first time they are being uh, in a position where they are living away from the parents Students will have to learn to manage their own affairs, manage their health, manage their finances, manage how they eat, manage their time. And we request all students to be conscious of the need to take care of themselves and take care of their studies. Remember that the bottom line is not that you came to university, but what you learn at the end and what you go away with from the university. And that usually is in form of certificates, but also in improved character and development of your humanity and a service to community. The student welfare and student affairs unit is headed by the Dean of Students. And we will encourage all students to engage with the Dean of Students office because that's where we have guidance, that's where we have counseling, that's where we have uh, personnel who are well trained to guide them in their career development. In the academic subunit, we start with the deans of the schools who then work with the heads of the department and the 
lecturers who are assigned to the various departments to train and teach in various courses. We request students to attend all the lectures that are indicated on the timetable in relation to the courses that they will be learning. Because failure to attend to the classes would mean to suspension, to repeating classes, or sometimes to expulsion. But of course, we don't want to go to those extreme measures. We know that students will take their learning seriously, attend their classes, attend to their practical sessions, attend the examination sessions, and in the end attain the degree that they came to get at the university. We have a period within which students may be allowed to transfer from one program to another if they qualify to join the second program. We ask the students to take advantage of that opportunity to eventually pick on the areas that they think they wish to do most. And that usually is within the first two or so weeks of their reporting at the university. But at the end of the day, the students will eventually graduate, of course, but we also wish them to develop character, to become mature, to become sensible, to become responsible, and to be able to take care of themselves in a manner that in future they will be useful to themselves, the societies from which they came from, and the nation at large. Thank you very much, and I wish you a nice day at Rongo University as we work together on improving your knowledge, improving your growth, and eventually making us all better placed to serve this country. Now with that, I wish to invite my colleague, the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Administration, Finance and Planning, Professor Stanley Chitote to address the meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Agostino Nguare, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Student Affairs, for giving me this opportunity to address the students. As you have been told, my name is Stanley Shitote. I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Administration, Finance and Planning. Let me start by congratulating all of you for your success in the Kenya Certificate of Secondary education examinations and your admission to the various programs of Rongo University. Welcome to Rongo University. Your cohort has endured the challenges brought forth by the coronavirus pandemic. The school calendar was seriously interrupted as, as a result of the pandemic and as such you concluded your secondary education in unusual circumstances. We are all grateful that you overcame the circumstances and you are here to start your university studies. We can see that whatever the circumstances, man will always devise ways to continue with the, the various activities of life. And so, here you are starting your first year of study at the university in spite of the pandemic. I will talk to you briefly about the Administration, Finance and Planning Division of the University. It is one of the two major divisions of the, of the University, the other being Academic and Student Affairs. We often refer to it as the AFP Division. In general, the Division provides support services to ensure the smooth running of the core activity of the University, which is, of course, academics. The AFP division handles, among others, the following. Human resource services, and that is all matters pertaining to the staff required for the operation of the university. 
administrative services such as repair and maintenance of facilities, uh, water supply, energy, infrastructure, and central services. The division also is also in charge of development of new infrastructure. And indeed, if you visit the campus, you will find a number of projects under construction. We also have the hostels and catering section. Indeed, the university has some limited accommodation, accommodation facilities on campus, but we also support students as much as possible to settle in accommodation outside the university by linking them to various landlords. The division also develops and implements long-term plans of the university. It provides health services, transport services, and financial services. In finance, we have a system which you'll need to be familiar with in order to be up to date with your financial status with the university. And this is also quite important for your smooth progress over the semesters. While on campus, you will experience most of the services offered by the division. More information will be provided by the various officers coordinating the services. As you are aware, many institutions worldwide have adopted online communication. We cannot be left behind. I sincerely hope that your respective circumstances will allow you a good connection to the various systems, including the learning platforms. I wish you a good experience as you start your life at the university and throughout your whole time at this university. Thank you. And now it is my humble pleasure to welcome our Vice Chancellor, Professor Samuel Gudu, to address you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this special opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University. We are glad that you have got opportunity to join Rongo University. I take this opportunity to recognize your performance and dedication to education that has earned you a place in one of the, the best public universities in this country. I know it took you a lot of time, hard work and dedication, and God was on your side, you got opportunity. You have now uh, one of the people who will be graduating in a few years to come. And this is not a mean performance. It took a lot of your time and opportunity has just been placed in front of you. As you join Rongo University, I want to congratulate also your parents, guardians and sponsors that supported your education until it has come to the point where you are now joining the university. And we also pray for them and yourself too that you would get opportunity to move until you finish your education and that you still require the guardians, the parents, and all those that support you in your education. And therefore, I just want to pray and advise that you, take, you make good opportunity that has come your way. As you look back to your performance in uh, secondary school, I would want to advise you to continue doing well the way you did because you are entering into a new phase of education where your performance, the previous performance will be required but don't spend too much time over congratulating yourself for the performance that you did in the last four years. You have entered a new phase of life, you, have, you are going to meet many challenges in, within the university and therefore I would want you to look forward to the new challenges. And don't imagine that if you performed well in, the, in, in, in Form 4, then you will perform well in the university if you do not listen to the advice that will be given to you by the Vice-Chancellor 
all the university staff so that you continue doing well. I want to say that the opportunity to join university is an excellent uh, opportunity that has come your way. What we want to advise at this point in time is that university is a free environment. It is free because nobody is going to ask you to wake up and go to class. We expect you to come and attend all classes. We expect you to be responsible enough to know exactly what brought you to the university. And therefore, it is upon you individually and collectively to make sure that you follow the lectures. The lecturers are going to present themselves to you and teach you, like give you lecture notes. They will be asking you to go and do a lot of reading. They will be expecting that you will be strong enough to be able to do uh, continuous assessment tests and final exams based on your reading, not only from what they have taught, but also from a lot of reading that you would do. We have got a fantastic library, we have got books, we have got online materials for you to, to consult, and therefore it is up to you to make sure that you take opportunity to read and then do well in your studies. The university environment, you are starting a new environment. It will not be the same like where you had been. Some of you might have not got opportunity to stay outside far from parents. But at this time, we expect you to mature, to, to mature up and be able to move forward as an individual and make your friends so that you have got support to, en to enable you to overcome the academic challenges. In the university, it is not only the academic challenges. You will meet other challenges. You will find some friends who you will be staying with who do, do not, do not uh, know you. It is up to you to make uh, good friends make good friends that would be able to support you and you will also be able to support them uh, when they have got social challenges, financial challenges or academic challenges. I really want you to form teams that would be able to support your education. Within the university we have got, we have got the dean of students that will be able to support you if you have got uh, any uh, welfare problem. We want you to, to report that to the deans of schools or the dean of students. And even up to the vice chancellor, if it is something that you would feel that you can only share with the vice chancellor. I welcome any student who has got major challenges that cannot be, <clears throat> that cannot, that require the attention of the vice chancellor. The office is open and we will be there for you to support you. However, I want to advise that within the university there are, you are going to meet a number of uh, students. Some of them may try to lure you to join bad groups. We want to warn against any student taking illicit brews, misuse of uh, the drugs. You're not supposed to use those uh, illicit drugs. You know the government and the constitution of Kenya does not allow that. I really want to urge you to be upright because your parents and those who sponsor your education are looking up to you as somebody who will be useful in future and will be dependable. So desist and run away from friends that may lure you into bad practice. Those who may not want to go to a class every day, those who use the drugs that are prohibited and therefore I want to pray for you that you do not fall into those bad traps because you have come to get education, be focused and continue doing well the way you did and you will succeed. I want to tell you that, uh, that you have opened your door now to a higher academic echelons. I really would want to see a situation where I meet with you down the street 
any street in this country some 10 years to come, and you will be telling me, uh, Professor Gudu, you were once my vice chancellor at Rongo University, and now I'm a branch manager of this bank, or I'm the principal of this high school, or now I'm the ambassador of, 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 of Kenya to this country, to specific countries. I really want success for each one of you and all of you. And therefore, it is up to you from today to start learning and setting up your goals and strategies on how important you will be in future. Remember, this is the beginning of good things to come. And the good things will only come your way if you behave well, if you set goals, if you set strategies that will allow you to attain those goals. I want also to say that uh, in terms of academic, as you enter first years, the first four years will be ending very fast. But remember, there are opportunities even to study, go beyond the first year. And you can be able to do masters and even up to PhD. I encourage all of you to do that. So that this time round you are coming to be taught, but many years to come, you will be the one who is going to be teaching some of the first years in many years to come. So I encourage you to look forward, set high goals, and be dedicated to achieve those goals. For now, I want to also caution on you because we have got a pandemic, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, which is a big challenge to this country and all the countries in the world. The COVID-19 does not select. It is a disease that can can be contracted by anybody. I want to say that it is the way we behave that we can be able to keep safe. As you interact with your fellow students, ensure that you keep distance, you wash your hand most of the times, and also avoid large crowds that can, that can cause uh, uh, that can make you contract the disease. It is with good hygiene and self-discipline that you can be able to avoid contacting this disease. Apart from the COVID-19 pandemic, there are also diseases that can come out of, out of uh, sexual uh, interaction, such as HIV and AIDS. There are also uh, problems which can come out of those uh, uh, banned drugs which are not required to be taken by people like you. You can have those challenges, either COVID or HIV, or uh, mental problems arising out of use of uh, uh, banned uh, drugs. I really want to, to uh, beseech you to seriously avoid those ones so that we do not lose any one of you because of recklessness or carelessness. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Rongo University provides environment for good environment for learning. And I want you to take advantage of that. Form good groups that will be able to discuss issues that will be able to support your education. We want to uh, tell you in time that we have got excellent lecturers, we have got excellent administrators that would be able to take care of your personal and group problems. Make advantage, take advantage of those ones. And in the next uh, four years, you graduate exactly within four years. For those who will not be able to, to listen to the advice, some of, of you may, may, may graduate, not exactly in four years, and simply because you lost the way somewhere. But today I tell you, look forward to graduating in exactly four years. And we are here to support you. May God bless you as you study in Rongo University. May God give you grace to have good health and to be supportive of your fellow students and your parents. Thank you so much.
and thank you very much. Uh, let me take this opportunity to first welcome all of you to Rongo University. My name is Professor Nyamura Guyo. I'm the Registrar Academic Affairs at Rongo University. Rongo University is situated 30 kilometers from Kisi, and it is along Kisi Migori route at Ketere Hills. All first years are expected to report on the 13th of September 2021. And uh, before you report, uh, we expect you to have paid your fees and we expect you to have registered online. On the reporting date, please carry your documents with you so that we can uh, open the file for you. Also, I want to remind you that uh, uh, there will be certain courses that will be offered online. So, as you saw in your letter, or as indicated in your letter, we expect you to come with a laptop so that you'll be able to attend those classes online. Well, we'll also give a brief face-to-face uh, -face orientation, and this will give you opportunity to meet your professors, deans, of schools and your heads of departments. The first phase orientation will also great opportunity for you to access the library, know where our library is, be able to identify our health services, be able to identify our playing fields, agricultural fields, animals that we have around, and many other amenities. You'll be able to observe them during our face to face orientation. In terms of class attendance, um, our rules require that you attend all classes with a minimum of 80% for you to be allowed to do the exams. Talking about exams, we have two types of exams. We have continuous assessment tests that normally contribute 30% for undergraduate students and 40% for postgraduate students. Then we have got final exams that contribute 70% for undergraduate and 60% for uh, postgraduate. We also offer special exams in case you are not able to do the final exam because of one reason or the other, or supplementary in case you fail to make the first attempt. During your stay at Rongo, it's so important that during your stay at Rongo, you follow certain rules and regulations that have been designed by the university. While the university will try to make your life as comfortable as possible, we expect you to moderate your life. For example, we have got rules and regulations about exams. It tells you you are not supposed to cheat in the exam. And the consequences that follow the cheating or any other exam malpractice are well designed in those rules and regulations. We have also rules and regulations that regulate your behavior here. They tell you, for example, you are not supposed to be drunk and disorderly. You are not supposed to be abusive. And in those rules and regulations that regulate your behavior, the consequences of those misbehavior will result in certain penalties. And those penalties are well defined in those uh, regulations. Once again, let me take up this opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University. And when you come here, please feel free and join our uh, group. I want to say that for those of you who might have problems with the courses they have been admitted in, programs they are supposed to take, we have a small window for transfer of the programs. You can transfer your program within the school or you can transfer from one school to the other. So, but you have to take cognizance that there are certain requirements in the program transfer. One of them is the meeting of the minimum requirement for that program. Yeah, so when you come to Rongo University, immediate report, uh, there'll be forms that will allow you, you can fill the forms to ask for the transfer to be effected. Once again, thank you very much and welcome to Rongo University. Hi, and welcome to Rongo University. I am Ben Asugo, 
Dean of Students. We come to you from the Office of the Dean of Students. This is the office for all students. Our major mandate is your general welfare in the university. In particular, we will attend to your needs in the following areas. One, general student welfare support and needs, students' games and sports, the student leadership in the Students' Association, guidance and counseling support, student careers and mentorship, and student personal bereavement in the event a student loses life or is bereaved by a close member of the family. Our office is located at the eastern end of the campus next to the university clinic. We also have an office for games and sports behind the university's graduation square. We encourage students to come and register with us for games and sports because we offer a variety of games in the university, in athletics, basketball, handball, netball, volleyball, hockey, karate, taekwondo. Indoor games include chess, scrabble, and many others including darts. We encourage you as a student while in university to explore your talents, come and exercise your talents, and the university will give you the exposure so that you participate in the competitive games with other universities in Kenya and beyond. The Office of the Dean of Students also coordinates and supports the student's finance system by coordinating with Higher Education Loans Board, we also coordinate the bursary support through the CDFs and county governments and any other sponsor. We also coordinate internal opportunities for work study for students while you are in the university. We want to encourage you to feel most welcome in Rongo University and in the event of any challenge, please always feel free to walk to our office and share with us your challenge. We'll, we'll try to help you to understand and identify possible solutions. Once again, we thank you very much for choosing Rongo University and we want to wish you all the success as you undertake your studies in Rongo University. Thank you and welcome. Hello, my name is CPA Janet Chumba the head of finance subdivision of Rongo University. Allow me to congratulate you and to welcome you to Rongo University. We understand the difficult times with which we are operating, but we are also confident that by now you are all capable of observing the requirements that will keep you safe. As you start your journey, we shall be able to hold your hands through the process we have put in place through our ICT unit, a seamless system of registration that will make it easy for you to register from the comfort of your home. The finance subdivision has several sections. Among them is the student finance section with six school accountants at your service. You will be able to get to know them as we continue to interact. My staff and I have the pleasure of helping you during finance registration process, uh, the teamwork and the careful planning as we welcome our students is always a special experience. We are a community that works together to deliver quality service to our customers and that sense of community service is a part of what makes this university special. And now you are part of that community. At the student finance section, we will be able to share with you the following information, the fee payment policy, the relevant fee structures for the various courses, how to do finance registration, how to access and interpret your fee statement, how to claim any refunds where applicable, compliance issues, important deadlines, 
and any other fee-related matters. I encourage you to continuously engage us for any assistance with regards to your fee issues at any time of need. We are here to support you and to ensure that your experience at Rongo University remains memorable. Once again, congratulations for choosing to join Rongo University. Thank you. My name is Joel Nakitare, the University Librarian. I want to take this chance to join my colleagues in congratulating you and welcoming you to Rongo University. And in a very special way, I want to welcome you to Rongo University Library. As you start off your new academic journey, I want to encourage you from onset that please find time to read, find time to grow your knowledge, find time to expand your ability and uh, capacity in the area of your training. And there's no other way you'll be able to do that without creating time to read, without, without having a proper strategy to read. So I want to welcome you and give you an overview of the library information resources that we have so that from onset, as you settle, you start reading from the first day of your stay here in the university. So the library, as it is now, we have two main sources of information. That is the electronic, uh, we, we call it our digital library, and the conventional library where we have the print information resources. So for the electronic information resources, you will need to register so that we give you the login credentials to the different uh, various databases that we have and more so to give you a bit of tips just how to navigate the information world and more so the open access databases that we find very useful for you. For the print resources, for you to be able to borrow books from the library, again, we'll need to register you and that one we'll be able to do uh, with the data you've already provided in the registration process. But when you come to the library, we'll have to activate that particular account for you to be able to, to use it. I also want to mention that uh, we have different sections in the library, just for you to know. I mentioned three main ones. The first one is the digital section. We have two labs dedicated for students, those who don't have their personal laptops and you want to do a bit of research online. We have digital li uh, library where you can come in and the librarian will assist and enable you to be able to use our computers. We also have the reading halls where you can be able to come and uh, read, have personal reading. And we have one room that we allow a bit of discussion. We call it the discussion room. A third section that I would want to mention to you is our special collection. In the special collection, we have two main sections. One is the thesis and the research, or rather the scholarly output from Rongo University. You'll get to see what other researchers of Rongo University have done. In the same section, we also have a small uh, collection for children books. And these are very useful, especially for those uh, students doing education, so that you start familiarizing some of the content that you'll need to use when you go out there. The third section, uh, and very, uh, most important, is our information desk. When you come in, they, you'll always find a librarian on the information desk to assist you, to guide you. So any query that you have, please talk to the librarian at the desk. Lastly, I want to mention that we cannot be able to do this online, but we would want to have a more detailed orientation session with each and every class. So I want to encourage that once you start classes and you uh, elect your class representative, please make arrangement. We'll also try to reach out so that we have a more detailed orientation session for each and every class. In this session, we'll be able to show you the various databases, the various uh, information resources that we have, and more so the information services that the library has. But above all, I want to assure you that as academicians, as young researchers, you shall not work alone. The librarians and the whole library department will work with you. 
Thank you very much and most welcome to Rongo University. Greetings to you all our first years and congratulations for passing your 2020 KCSE. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to Rongo University and I can assure you that it is indeed a gold mine of knowledge. And so on behalf of Health Services Department, I want to say we are so glad to have you on board. Karibu sana. So Health Services, um, this institution we have a health facility. It is accredited by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board. It is also NHIF accredited. Now we offer services, or basically outpatient services, and it is open 24 hours in a day. So you are welcome to access our, for, to seek for health care during the day and also in the night. Some of the uh, services that we do offer are, uh, we give both curative and preventive services. Like we treat minor ailment, ailments, and we are also able to perform minor surgeries at the same time, when it comes to preventive services, we offer uh, family planning services because you know that some of the students are married and also others are not married, yes, but they are sexually active. So we are able to give family planning services. We also offer antenatal care for those of you who may, at one point in the course of uh, studies, find yourself pregnant, we are able to take care of you. We also screen for cervical cancer for those who are sexually active and we also do breast cancer screening. So in case you need all those services, they are available at our facility. At the same time, since you only offer outpatient services, we do not have wards to admit. But in case you are so sick to an extent that you need and require admission, we always refer to our nearest sub-county hospital, which is Rongo Sub-County Hospital. But again, we are able to refer to other facilities within the region, for example, Migori uh, Referral Hospital, Homa Bay Referral Hospital, and Kisi Level 6. But this we do after consulting your parents or your guardians. So when you come for services in our facility, you are not required to pay because you pay medical uh, fee in your fees. It is incorporated. So basically in our facility here, you are not required to pay any money. But should you require referral to the facilities outside, then you'll be, we will have to contact your parent or guardian so that they can be able to take care of your bills when you are admitted uh, in facilities that are outside. So it is also important to mention that in this facility, we are um, a total of 14 staff. That is two clinical officers, five nurses. We have one lab technician and we have one pharmaceutical technician. We have a health records officer and we have also a clerk plus office assistants who are three. Otherwise, you are most welcome. And uh, before I forget, uh, to access services in our facility, you will need to come with your student ID card. If you do not have a student ID card, you will need to come with your national ID card plus the letter, the admission letter that called you here. And for those who are still under age and they do not have the national ID card, you are supposed also to come with a copy of your birth certificate plus the admission letter so that we can be able to give you the services. Otherwise, you're most welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs>